I'm Tom from Do It Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at using my um, DACA pole along with a GoPro Hero 7 camera to do pole aerial photography. And this is basically an alternative to using a drone to take aerial photos. Um, you basically use a really long pole with a camera on the top that you can control remotely, and you can take really great aerial photos in places where a drone wouldn't be allowed without the expense and um, you know some of the safety issues of using a drone. So the dock pole version that I have here is actually 30 feet tall. That's really tall. Um, it's got multiple segments that extend. I've extended one segment so far. And you can see I've got my uh, GoPro Hero 7 mounted at the top here. And I'm just using a little friction mount. You can also get a tripod mount for the GoPro. That's then connected to my phone so I can control it remotely. And basically, um, you go to a safe place where there's nobody around you that would uh, be in the way there. You extend the pole out um, and then you essentially walk down the length of the pole, uh, holding it up into the air until the whole thing is up far into the air. Um, so this is what it looks like with one segment extended. This is probably about 12 feet in the air. But again, um, I can extend all the way up to 30 feet and get this all the way up into the sky. So we'll take a look at how to actually do that. Okay, so you can see here, we're probably at about 20 feet. Um, and this is uh, what it looks like. There's a cushioned grip down at the bottom. If you wanna hold on down there, I tend to like to hold a little bit further up the pole. Just stabilize that, the GoPro's up there. And then I just trigger it from within the GoPro app on my phone that's connected. And I can rotate the whole thing around here. I can do video or I slowly pan just by rotating the pole. Um, or I can take photos with the GoPro and I just want to stabilize it and then I can take a photo with that That's 12 megapixels that transfers directly to my phone um, Coming back down. It's really important to obviously slowly walk your way back down the pole But again um, getting high up in the air you get almost like a drone perspective But this is something that you can set up and use in a much wider variety of places and it's much uh, easier and less expensive in a lot of ways than using a drone. So people use this for real estate photography if they want to get uh, the facade of a property that they're showing but they don't want to have to get a drone license. People use this for nature photography, aerials of buildings, um, even people use it for event photography, although obviously make sure that there's nobody within range of your pole if you were to drop it. Uh, that could be hit by it, but otherwise uh, this works great for events too if you're getting a more aerial vantage point. Um, I like that the DACA pole is definitely really sturdy. It's got that camera tripod mount attachment at the top that I've got my friction tripod going into. And then the nice thing with the GoPro is that it's got a really wide angle lens. So you can get quite a lot of the area around you in one shot. Um, plus since you can control it from your phone, uh, it's easy enough to get uh, that control even if it's at the top of a 30 foot pole. Um, I'm going to include at the end of this some sample photos so you can see what this looks like. Um, but this is my uh, pole aerial photography setup.